Hallo kijkers van Shine Sprites, op mijn absoluut nieuwe aflevering van Leven Mystery Journey. Uh, we gaan uh, hopelijk deze aflevering vinden wat er, uh, uitvinden wat er is gebeurd met de mega grote uh, goddess statue. Al weet ik eigenlijk wel zeker dat het een inside job is. That's strange, something's different here. When we came down this corridor before, I'm sure. Yes, the din from the engine is rather more noticeable than it was before, wouldn't you say? What? Sorry, just being a wag? How did you now you mention it? I think you're right. That's just because your ears need cleaning out, Cheryl. When did you last have a bath? Boyo, hater. Actually, Ernest was just co commenting that the engine noise seems greater than it was before. Hmm, since when? Well, it seemed much quieter in the grand launch than uh, when the party started. Uh, I suppose I first noticed it not long after we started looking for the goddess statue. Probably because we're uh, heading back in at full throttle, don't you think? Captain Pullman told us the ship's engine had more to give, if you remember. Yes, but we don't appear to be moving much faster than we did before. Hmm, that's true actually. I wonder what's causing uh, the extra noise then. Yeah, who knows. Anyway, aren't we supposed to head him back for lunch? Kijk. Dit is nog even een gratis kluwtje die ze er even in wouden duwen vlak van tevoren. Nou, nu gaat het snel. Nu gaan we er wel achter komen wat er met de, met de statue gebeurd is. Where, uh, where are we? Here we are then, the grand launch, uh, where the last angel is hiding. All that stands between me and that uh, bidding slip. You can do it, miss. Ah, the sight of the launch without a golden goddess saddens my heart. Uh, when we left from the wharf, it was such a magnificent sight to behold, no? Hmm, I'm quite sure we'll find your statue. Um, Mr. Fullholt, uh, don't you worry. Uh, not if we don't actually look for it, Inspector. Hmm, yes, well. Uh, where do we look then, Perfetti? Please, don't feel this hard at Mr. Fullholt. There's still hope. Yes, yes. Uh, and now we've come this far, we must complete the exciting, the exciting angel treasure hunt, eh? Hmm, that's the spirit. So if you can't, fi I can't find the final angel somewhere in this launch, um, you will uh, reward you with my bidding slip for the golden goddess. Not that it's much of a prize at the moment. Oh dear, that's, uh, that's made me feel glum again. Why don't we throw ourselves into the treasure hunt uh, to try jolly him up a bit, miss? This grand launch doesn't feel so grand without the statue, doesn't it? Whenever can it be, Miss Leyden? That is the whole question, Ernest. Tell me not such dumb questions. Oh, what happened to the stack of dish dishes? It looks different uh, somehow before than before. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. We lachen niet zo gauw de bol op en was er misschien een projector die uh, de, de statue liet zien? Oh mijn god, was, zou dat het zijn? Zou dat zijn? Ben ik zo'n smarty pants? So this is the crane we think the culprit may have used to remove the goddess statue? Yes, possibly. The question is, how did uh, he or she know how to operate the crane?
I was unconvinced about resuming the game. Yeah. To search this tiered tower platters in minute detail. <laughs> Lol. Ze hebben gewoon tand te veel eten. Okay, stone idol. Um, there's a stone with some symbols carved into it that seem to have some kind of significance. The top part of it is missing and needs to uh, be put back. Okay. But the pieces of stone are all in a jumble and it's not clear which one is it is. Okay. Look at the symbols on the other sides of the stone to figure out uh, which one is missing. Oh, ik moet een oog voorstellen. Dus dan zou je zeggen dat hij naar boven moet kijken. Dan zou het deze moeten zijn. Je kijkt hier recht vooruit, je kijkt hier naar links, je kijkt hier naar rechts. Dan zou dit toch zijn dat je dat hij naar boven kijkt. Mm, this should do it, I think. Ik ben een pens. Een smart pens. Got it right. You continually surprise me, Catriel. <laughs> Just because you see the moon in the sky every night, my friend, does not mean you will uh, see it this night. No, this puzzle you have just solved is the only a hint about the location of the angel uh, that's concealed in this room. Dus we moeten omhoog kijken. Er zat dus eerst zo'n oogpoel of zo'n uh, projector op waarschijnlijk. Denk ik nog steeds. Hmm, that's disappointing. There doesn't appear to be any angel on the top of the tower dish of dishes here. Really? But it must be there. Actually, I remember there uh, was a little round decoration on the top as well. But it seems to be missing now too. Yes, I remember that decoration as well actually. The decoration is gone. No, 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 this is a disaster. Gosh. It um, was it a very important decoration, Mrs. Ford? Yes. Well, no. But you see, uh, I concealed the final angel figurine inside the decoration uh, we speak of. Okay. So you mean the angel figurine is lost too? Yes. Uh, not. Uh, now, not only my precious golden goddess is missing, but the final angel is as well. Um, what are we going to do, Miss Layton? Things seem to be going from bad to worse. Let's keep calm, Ernest. The angel hasn't gone missing. It just changed location, that's all. Let me explain, Mr. Fool. The final figurine was originally inside the decoration um, on the top tier of the Tower of Plates, originally. The question is, where is it now? In fact, it's with inside of all of you, uh, of even as we speak. Is it? Will you, Miss Layton? Where? Where is it? Do tell us. Relax, pinstripes. Let me put you all out of your misery. The final angel is in the jelly next to the tower. In, this, uh, in that enormous multicolored jelly? Surely not. Indeed it is, Ernest. If we examine the jelly, uh, I've a little doubt that it will find um, the angel figurine. Oh ja, de bal is daarin gevallen, lol. Well, Ernest, have you found it? Mm, oh, yes, I got it. Uh, the little round decoration and the angel figurine is inside. However, did it end up in there, Miss? Miss? Somebody moved it without my permission? That's what they were saying, Miss Lady. 
Actually, no. The truth is, I think the decoration just fell from the top of the tower into the jelly. It fell? But how could that happen? Quite a simple, Mr. Fool, because the boat is not level. In fact, the stern appears to be uh, considerably lower than the boat. Okay. Almost as if we caught on something. The ship is not level. Are you sure, miss? Uh, can, uh, I can say I've noticed. It's not immediately obvious, especially when you're, uh, you've been walking around the ship as we have. But I'm quite sure the ground decoration uh, did in fact roll from the top tier in the lower dishes. But the theme mechanic is very latest model. Everything is perfect work in working order. And we are not uh, cruising at an exact 10 set speed. What, poss what possible reason could there be for a vessel to be pitching in such a way? I'm sure there's a simple explanation, Mr. Ward. Don't worry. Now that we found all our four figurines, though, I think it's time to... Catriel weet wat er aan de hand is. I must say, it's a very clever hiding place. No one ever would uh, look in the goddess statue in there. Wait, uh, are you saying you know who did it, Cat? Of course, Inspector, this mystery is history. I know who did it, and I know how they did it. Well, come on then, spill the beans. Who was it? And where the devil is that statue, eh? I'll explain everything as soon as everyone is gathered, Ernest. Can you please? Yes, miss, it was. At once, miss. Oh, wait a minute, though. There's something I need to discuss first. What are you planning now? Ah, huh, you will see. Uh, you will know soon enough. I'll reveal one. Uh, all once everything is settled. For whom the goddess smiles? Well, she would love each and every one of us equally, of course. Yet there is someone among us who would have her all for himself. And that someone is... No, wait. I think everyone's more interested in where the goddess is rather than who is responsible for her disappearance. Uh, pop, 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 pop. Hold it. Everyone knows it's bad guy first, then how he did it. Yes. I should bow to my audience's wishes and explain the whereabouts of the statue first. Hello. Dog giving advice here. So, where is the statue, you ask? The truth is, it was stolen by someone. But I have deduced where that someone has hidden it. Stolen? How could that be? Yeah, we're talking about a four-ton statue here. How could anyone make off with that? Even if it was possible to move it, there's no way to get it off the boat. But there is. There's one way you could get the statue off this boat and onto dry land. How exactly? I'll tell you. Even as we speak, the goddess of the Thames is... under the water. What are you on about? I'm talking about the only possible way such a statue could be moved from this boat to the shore. The statue is under the water, being dragged along by the boat as we speak. And the thief is planning to recover the statue once the party is over and we've docked at the wharf. But who would do such a thing? There's only one person who could have done this. And that is you. Midas Pullman. <sighs> and all of the crew have been helping you. Quick, I. Ooh. You've taken a hallowed image, bound it, and mercilessly thrust it into the, let's face it, grim waters of the Thames estuary. It's nothing short of sacrilege. You are all guilty of anchor abuse. Anchor abuse? 
on the Temptanic? Unthinkable. That's not a thing, Cat. Read it back in. Oh, new houses zijn ze gestopt met praten. Well, how do you explain how Captain Pullman removed the statue from the launch and then into, sea, in the sea, into the sea? We've already established that there are a number of conditions to have been in order to use the crane. Yes, he needed help for, of the crew to make it happen. But what are you saying, Cat? Well, the captain told us that there is a key required to operate the crane. Obviously, he had it with him as himself. But he had already given the key to the ship's navigator, Abel Seaman. Uh, when the incident took place, uh, Seaman told us he was on the bridge. That's right. And from the bridge, he asked his ship engineer, Declan Swabber, to turn on the power to the crane in the engine room. Hold on a minute, we were in the engine room doing the treasurement at the time. I never heard anyone using the speaking tube. No, you didn't, because you weren't supposed to. Huh? Just think back, Inspector. When we first entered the engine room, Captain Pullman gave a long and detailed account of the ship engine, didn't he? Yes, he was very passionate about the latest technology um, uh, from the uh, ship employees. Okay, so that was deliberate destruction, you think? I do. And while we're busy listening, Mr. Seaman gave the introduction to Mr. Swabber to flick on the power switch. If he hadn't happened, uh, if he hadn't happened that way, uh, there wouldn't have been enough time for Mr. Seaman to do the deed. As soon as the crane's power was switched on, the hoist, he hoisted the statue out of the launch and over the side of the ship. Once he'd finished, he let Mr. Swabber know using the speaking tube again, and Mr. Swabber returned to uh, to the power switch uh, to the end the off position. Okay, and of course, uh, it wasn't just those three involved. Every member of the crew helped to carry out this amazing heist. So they're all guilty then, the lot of them. It was an impressive piece of teamwork. I'll give them that. Yes, facilitated by the many speaking tubes running all over the ship, so everyone involved could re relay important messages to each other. The covers uh, on the speaking tube uh, between the engine room and the bridge are usually left open, so they're uh, in constant communication. And let's not forget that the crew has been together for a long time, they know each other inside out. Well, obviously that explains uh, why my profiling hadn't produced results yet. Nobody could have predicted the entire crew was involved. I just wish they hadn't put their amazing teamwork skills uh, to such nefarious use. What a waste, it's criminal. Well, anyway, uh, we should be arriving at the wharf uh, before too long. Uh, I'll radio ahead to the yard to get uh, as a welcome committee. Oh, it was echt een, uh, echt een echte heist. Dat was wel heftig. It's all over. The case is closed. The ship's captain tried to steal the statue and the old crew were in on it. But they didn't get away with it. It's under the vessel, boys. Fetch it out. Sir! Under the vessel! Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> nice. Lacquer engaging. You greedy good for nothing spalpeen. You're not fit to call yourself a man of the sea. Quick, I. Ooh. I'm not so sure. I believe it was the captain's undying love of the sea that drove him to such lengths. Love. Mr. Pullman is aboard this brand new ship today because he is employed as its captain. But once upon a time, he himself owned one of the most famous luxury vessels around, the SS Midas Touch. Isn't that right? How did you...? Sadly, your business met with hard times in the economic recession, and you were forced to sell your ship and lay off all of her crew. You put all your younger years into that ship, and now you want her back, don't you? Yes, yes, you're right. 
You've certainly done your homework. I'll give you that. Unbel. I met my late wife aboard that ship. She means everything to me. I poured my soul into her. This crew who are conspiring with you, they're the crew from your old ship, correct? Yes, and I knew doing a terrible thing like this would mean I wasn't worthy of her. But I just had to get her back, by fair means or foul. Midas, you realize that I have acquired the Midas touch through one of my brokers. What? Really? You own her, Mr. Fullhold? I do. But I don't understand. I didn't think you were interested in older vessels. No, those crusty old ships make no money. But the Midas touch is different. She is in a class of her own. If you want a pinnacle of luxury, there is no greater boat on the water. I have decided to run two cruise services from now on. These more affordable ones and a Pullman service. Really? I... I don't know what to say. Once you have made amends for this little transgression, I was thinking of making you captain of the Midas Touch. She will be fully refurbished, of course. What do you say? Do you mean that? Yes. No one knows how to get the best from her, like you. There's nothing I'd rather do. Now, nah, what well Fisher? Well, Captain Pullman, that's all worked out rather swimmingly, hasn't it? Thanks to you, Miss Layton. The business plan you produced for the Midas Touch was very impressive. You old dog cat! You arranged all this! Oh, yeah. Brilliant, Miss Layton! You solved the mystery and put everything right at the same time! Oh, well, it's what I do! <laughs> The Golden Goddess was raised from the refurbished, muddied, and unharmed. That's fine. And once again, her radiant beauty was put on display for everyone to admire. She smiles on us all. Yeah, very little saver. Blinky blinky blonky. Hey, we hebben Case 9 gekregen. Bedankt voor het kijken van deze aflevering. Vond je het een leuke aflevering? Doe een duimpje omhoog. Zie je graag de volgende keer weer bij een gloednieuwe Case. Adios, amigos.